You cannot trade Forex profitably until you know how to calculate a proper lot size for your trading account. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you'll never need to make another lot size mistake in setting up a position on your Forex trading account. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel today, guys. If you're enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe down below if you're new. And with that said, I wanna go ahead and jump into this concept here. Lot sizes are something that new traders get stuck on a lot of the time. How do you know how much of a position size to use? Should you use 0.01? Should you use 0.10? Should you use one lot size? Well, again, uh, this is going to vary depending on a couple, couple different variables. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate the perfect lot size for your trading style and your risk tolerance. Okay, so here's the thing. If you're looking at the euro dollar, before we jump into anything, if you're trading euro dollar, if you are trading things like XAUUSD, if you're trading gold, right? If you're trading USDJPY, these are all different, which makes it even more confusing. But again, if you stick around, I'm going to show you a tool and some tricks you can do to never make another lot size mistake. Now, again, if you're trading different markets, it's going to have a different implication on your lot size. For example, I have a trade on GBP JPY open right now, and my lot size is 61,000 units or a 0.61 lot size on this trade. And you might say that doesn't sound like very much, but on GJ, a pair that moves a lot more, it's important to make sure that your lot size is correct for this uh, trading uh, style compared to something that's more mild like Euro USD. Now, the first thing I want to show you is, of course, the trading view uh, position size. This is going to be your key to the castle, my friends. Check it out. So if I grab this, this is uh, under the under this section here, prediction and measurement tools. We're going in here and whether you're choosing to go long or short, you'll have to make a decision based on your analysis. But let's say, for example, that you decide, I don't know, let's say that you're, you're choosing to go long on the euro dollar and you're saying, well, Nick, what lot size do I use so that I can risk an appropriate amount on your account? Well, okay. So here's the thing you need to know first. First, you need to have an idea of what percentage are you going to risk per trade. And this is something that is kind of up to you and your risk tolerance. Uh, but I generally will say anywhere from half a percent to, you know, no more than 3%. 3% is, is sort of aggressive, but, um, you know, per trade risking something like that. So then you also need to know your account balance. How much money are you working with? Because this is going to impact this percentage. Obviously, if you have a bigger trading account, then 1% of that account is going to be more or less depending on how much size you have. So here's what I'm going to show you. This tool right here is going to be the magic weapon, the key to your castle for finding a lot size calculator. Now, if you don't use the trading view don't worry it's free it's uh there's a free uh, version available that you can use this tool and you don't have to pay a dime to use what we're going to talk about here Okay, so you're looking at TradingView, you're saying, I'd like to buy the Euro dollar, and you have next, you need to make sure you know where your stop loss is going, because we're going to basically be picking a lot size based on our stop loss. So check this out, my guys. So check this out. We'll go right here, bam, double click it, and we're in. Now here's a little bit of confusion at first, a lot to look at, but let's break it down piece by piece. We're going to need to talk about those variables that we just discussed. We've got the account size variable, and this lot size, we'll come back to this, but we need to address how much risk we are going to take per trade. We need to talk about our entry, what we're going to do for a stop loss, and really it's more about the entry and the stop loss here. So let's say, for example, that we're going to decide to buy the Euro USD uh, for whatever reason, let's just say we're buying the support level right? Really simple. Let's say we're buying it right here and we put a stop loss and we decide, okay, we want to do 40 pips, give or take. Okay. So 40 pips, double click this, go back in here. And let's say our account size is, you know, for the sake of this video, let's say we're just working with a $1,000 trading account. Now, we need to know the lot size, and this is going to be calculated for us in just a second. Let's say we wanna risk 1%, you know what, let's actually just say we're gonna risk, um, in this case, 1.5%. Okay, so 1.5%, we're plugging in our variables, we have a $1,000 account, 1.5%, and we've already seen, you can already see the TradingView app has already kind of grabbed 40 pips, or 400 points, 400 ticks, uh, onto this profile. That's what is gonna matter here. So when we go in here, we've got that. Now the, the take profit is not gonna really change the lot size per se, it's just gonna change the risk reward. But I want you to check this out, guys. This number right here, that's what you're going to want to use for your lot size. Now that's confusing. Give me a second here, I'll explain. 
If you are looking to take this trade with a 40 pip stop loss, this variable right here is the key to the castle. That's the secret. Quantity. Your quantity is the lot size that you're going to need in units. Now you may be a little bit confused by units, but let me show you this. When I drag this stop loss, watch this number. When I drag, drag this stop loss, the quantity is changing. And what does that mean? Well, the quantity is how many units of currency, remember we are trading currencies, how many units of currency you're going to need to buy uh, in order to risk what you set it up to be, right? Remember, we're risking 1.5% um, of the trading account. So in this case, we're risking 1.5%. By the way, you can actually change it to USD if you prefer to set a dollar amount. We'll take a look at an example of that in just a second. But what we need to discuss here is we need to discuss, okay, this quantity, what does this mean? So you've set up your trade, you've decided where you wanna put your stop and target and things like that. Let's say, um, you know, going back to our example, around 40 pips, right? So we're risking 40 pips, and now it's saying 3,749, okay? 3,749, what does that mean? Well, this would be 0.37 lots. Nick, how did you get 0.73? Divide this number, 3750 divided by 10,000, and there it is, 0 0.3750, okay? Because again, we're, we're basically creating a lot size out of this. Now quantity, when you actually take a 0.37 lot size, what this is actually doing is this is going to be 3,700 3, units of currency. And this gets a bit confusing, but just know that this number is your lot size that you've calculated with this tool. You just need to convert it into a lot size that, you know, the, the lot size uh, version of it rather than the units version of it. Okay, so let's do this again. So let's take a look at GBP USD and repeat the process just for practice sake. We'll take a look at shorting the pound dollar. And let's say we're taking our trading account here and we're saying, okay, let's say it has $1,000 in it again. And let's say I wanna risk 10 USD. Same concept, we're gonna be looking at this quantity filter right here to get an idea of what we need to do. So let's say that we wanna put a stop loss here, a stop loss of roughly 50 pips. Uh, this is going to tell us exactly how many units we need to short in order to risk $10 on the account if price goes against us. Again, this is how we're calculating lot size. We identify our account size. We account, uh, account for the stop loss distance and then we get a output number, okay? A risk figure that we've set. And all that computes, and then we get this number right here, the quantity. So in this case, remember, we're going to repeat our process. It's going to be 2,000 approximately divided by 10,000, which is going to equal a basically a 0.2 lot. Uh, so that's how you calculate your position. And again, uh, so many traders get caught up on this, how to, how to calculate your lot size, things like that. Um, but it's not too difficult once you start using this. There are other websites that you can use if you really don't like TradingView for whatever reason. You can search up things on the internet like Lot Size Calculator, but for me, uh, this is the way to go. This is the easiest thing that I know. Um, I actually do a lot of my trading on TradingView and uh, by my broker, Oanda. They have an integrated platform so you can actually take trades directly on there, which is awesome. Uh, but the reason I point that out is that they, when you take the trade, it automatically calculates and does it all there too. So if you trade on, Oanda or you trade on TradingView with your broker that's integrated, then uh, it's amazing. But if you're not trading it, if you have an MT4 platform, whatever, uh, with another broker, then you can always kind of uh, do your do your due diligence just by uh, trading it in that way. So with that said, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new for more trading tips and help. And with that said, we will see you back in the next video.